So I wanted a mask that would just use these little um, makeup pad thingies. And so I took a, a design that was already out there and just made a screw-in face for it. And the way this face works, you just put the, uh, the pad inside there. And then the screw actually, you can see there it's got vents underneath the cap. That's where the air comes in. And then it lets the air come into the chamber. That way if somebody coughs or sneezes in your face, it hopefully won't get inside there. Um, like what happened if you were just had a regular face mask on that was open in the front. Somebody could sneeze or something right in your face. Um, this kind of protects you from that. So inside here, we can pop this out. There's a, a little black filter thing that holds the filter. You just place that in there. You drop your, your filter in. Uh, I would make sure you get a filter that doesn't have holes in it. I've seen some of these uh, makeup pads that do actually have holes through them. So just make sure you get one that doesn't have holes through it. So you just put it in there. Just screw it down. Um, this one was a little tight. I tried to adjust the screw. Hopefully it's loose enough now. Uh, it was a little too tight for me, so I just heated this up with a torch a little bit. Got the PLA kind of soft, and then it just, you know, I was able to screw it down. But then, as you screw it down, that just presses it right up against there nice and tight so that you have a, a, a good seal. Now, you would probably, you know, if you want a really, really good seal, you could put, like, um, some sort of, you know, foam tape or something in there. But anyway, might not be the greatest, but probably better than nothing in a pinch.